good morning today is a friday march 29 2019 and it is field trip day we are going to the um mississippi children's museum and it's going to be really fun they, we have a we have a really nice children's museum here in mississippi and um the state park LaFleur's Bluff is right beside it and so we're going to the park to like um, eat lunch and to just picnic and you know just let them play around after the after the museum so I'm heading into work um, today I'm hoping to be it's crossing God she weighs every morning I'm hoping to be have a very productive day today um, I'm in good time it's 7 15 we don't have to report to work until 7 20 and then uh, students come in the classroom at 7 30 so I'm in good time and I'm literally like right down the street I just dropped my son off and so um, I am I'm making good time I'm trying to make sure I have everything uh, dogs barking children running there's so much going on in the morning I'm trying to make sure I have everything for today um, as far as permission slips and um, just paperwork and stuff because I am the team leader I well with the help of my team of course I organize the uh, field trip and so the sun is I feel like that sun is in the way and so I organize the field trip and so it's just like different stuff you need to turn in when you know you're going to the to the place to the museum so I need to make sure I have all that um, I still have money left over like some students you know how they bring in money uh, later than the due date and I'm just kind of like it is just so sticky I, I do not like when they do that but at the same time I'm, I don't turn them away I don't, I'm not like no you can't do that they can't go now I'm not that person and so you know it is what it is but I just wish people would follow the, the due dates. Like, should I add a late fee if you don't have a, if you don't have your stuff turned in? Cause that's what the the bill people do. The uh, what I'm trying to say, like your uh, oh, and in the streets so tall up. I am going to uh, I'm gonna report this. I I drive these streets every single day, and I'm just this is just my community rent and I know it's not gonna be fixed like tomorrow but all I'm saying is I am an educator and I'm a citizen drive these streets every day and they are terrible I bought four uh, brand new tires all of my new my tires are new <laughs> There was no use in keeping any of them. Um, the mechanic was like, just you might as well just start with a fresh set. Now, granny, he could have been telling me that just to, you know, because they try to sell you at any and everything. But at the same time, I, I knew, like, I could look at, you can look at the tires. I looked at my tires, and they were so slick. And that's, that's common wear and tear. But it doesn't help when I'm dodging ginormous potholes or when I am trying to um or when I'm driving and I am steady bumpity 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 bump like it is so annoying okay I'm done with that but that's just annoying so anyway I am at school now today is going to be a great day it's, it's good weather looking like um I'm feeling good. Had a good night's sleep and ready to conquer the day. Ready to, you know, get stuff done. Need to put my shoes on. I leave so many shoes in the car. It's ridiculous. Um, I don't really know how many parents we got going because parents actually pay at the door. We don't include parent money. 
and so I'm not sure how many pants on it. I hope it's a decent amount though, because at the children's museum, um, you have to have five, one adult per five students. And see, everywhere else we have gone, it's just been one adult um, per ten students. And so, you know, that's plenty with the teacher and the teacher assistant. And then, uh, for for the school, for the district, we only need 10 adults to go. And that's usually all the teachers that go. But, the museum is really strict when it comes to this sort of thing. So, anyway, I'm about to get ready to get out. And I will probably see you maybe on the bus or on the um, at the museum. All right. So I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Okay, so I am back and field trip was, was good. Field trip was a wrap. Um, I did get some clips of us at the Children's Museum and you know, uh, doing the different activities and everything. And the kids absolutely loved it. I loved it too. It is tiring, like I'm not gonna lie, like it's not tiring. It is so tiring but it's so rewarding and refreshing. So, um, right now, I'm actually leaving school early. It's 2.25, I'm leaving school early because I have a three o'clock tax appointment. I have yet to do my taxes. 
And so, well, our taxes, you know, um, me and my husband, we filed jointly. But my mom was gonna pick up Charles, and so I forgot to leave the car seat, as you can tell. You know, see the car seat back there. I forgot to leave the car seat. So I'm going to go to his school because his school is right down the street from where I work. I'm going to go to his school and drop the car seat off. And then I'm going to uh, head over to my tax appointment. Then I was checking my... Uh, um, I was checking my... Um, what was it? The app where... Uh, The Go Me app. No, what is the? How can I even think? What's the app? Group Me, the group my Group Me app, and that's what how the uh, coach communicates with my son's T-ball coach communicates with us. And the first T-ball game was uh, canceled because of like raining, and so now we have uh, the makeup game is tonight at six o'clock. So. I mean, that's fine. It'll give us something to do. But the makeup game is tonight at 6 o'clock. And, um, so I have a quite a busy afternoon. And luckily, you know what? I took the uniform off of, uh, Charles last night when he got back from the, um, game from his, from that T-ball game. We had another, a, another T-ball game last night. And I was like, let me go ahead and watch it because you have a game Saturday. And I was like, I'm gonna go ahead and watch it get out the way. And so, um, when I saw that, um, when I saw that they had a game today, I was like, check that out. I went ahead and watched it. So it's all clean and stuff because usually I will, you know, like just with regular normal stuff, I wait till the day before or the day of, but I'm glad I went ahead and did it ahead of time. And you know, that's one of my goals in life is to not be, be not be a procrastinator. I find myself procrastinating quite a bit and it's it's not that I can't do it or I, I don't know how to do it. It's just that I'm like, oh, I have time, I have time. I just put it off, put it off, put it off, put it off. And so that's one thing I'm glad I did not put off. But these taxes I have been putting off and Big Charles has just been getting on to me. When are you gonna do the taxes? You need to go ahead and do the taxes. I just do not like filing taxes. Ugh. It's such a headache. So, anyway. I mean, it's not really a headache, headache. All you gotta do is key in the stuff. Because my coworker made a good point. She was like, all you gotta do is take a W-2 up there, let it key it in. But um, we put in some additional stuff with our taxes. And so, just to get our... Um, to get our maximum amount and to make sure that everything is accounted for and so it's just kind of like a headache getting all the information in but whatever um it's grown people stuff adult stuff so right now i'm just about to handle that and i just wanted to come on and tell you the field trip field trip field trip went really well um i am i was really pleased with my class now kids are gonna be kids and six-year-olds are gonna be six-year-olds. My kids are five and you know how, how old kindergarten, like five or six, and I have maybe a couple seven-year-olds. So, I mean, they just gonna act how they gonna act. Um, was it some running? Yes, after I told them do not run in the museum. Was it some, I don't know why kids, cause I have found my son doing this, like my own child, like screeching, like ah! like when something is, going on or something and i'm like why are you screaming stop screaming and so i don't know what's that about but it is what it is anyway i am about to pull up at his school drop this car seat off and then i'll be headed to my tax appointment so i should check in with y'all later i might get some clips of the baseball game we'll kind of see but if not then this is the end of this vlog. It was kind of like a teacher day in the life field trip edition. And I probably will come on and talk about the field trip and how I prepare for the field trip. So, um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. I'm headed home, leaving the tax uh, office. And 
finally got everything finished finally got everything done um educators like it is so important or anybody but i know this is my teaching channel so educators it is so important that we make sure we have everything in a row we got make sure you get all your um deductions you get an educator uh you get an educator deduction so make sure you are even though it's, it's nothing like super humongous and something is going rumble it but it does count so make sure you get your educate educator deductible um deduction um just make sure you are just on top of everything if you are in a district that is really large like the district i'm in you might have to kind of go down to the office or call some people or resubmit some paperwork because i actually have to resubmit some paperwork um for the withholdings of my state taxes and so if you have to do that make just make sure you are just up on your your finances make sure you are doing what you're supposed to be doing and make sure that the people that are in place doing are doing what they're supposed to be doing okay so this is the end of this vlog this is the end of the day i'm wrapping it up my phone is ringing and i'm checking off as teacher as educator and i'm getting ready to put my mama hat on and go to my baby's t-ball game and just have some fun just enjoy the afternoon so i'll talk to you guys later bye